Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we wrote some functions for Firebase. But before going on this video, we will first run our project, what we have done till now. So, if you remember in the previous videos, we wrote three different webpack files base.config, dev, and prod.config files. Now we will run our project. In index.js, we are calling app.js and the h2 tag, this is our e-commerce project. Now we should run this project and this is our, this is our e-commerce project will be displayed on our browser. So, but first we need to do a couple of things to run this project because we are working with our webpack configuration details. So we need to edit a couple of things inside our scripts in package.json. Okay, so first we will remove this start script and inside this build we will write cross environment and we will set it with our node environment to set our service workers first and it will be equals to production and webpack config webpack and it should run or prod.config.js so we are telling it to run it in a production and uh, with webpack you should configure the prod.config.js and then we are working with the dev server so we will set the script for dev server as well dev server and we'll write here webpack and which is our dev server and open it with configuration with go in webpack uh, the webpack is the folder and we will go inside the file with dev.config.js okay so we'll simply remove this eject here and remove this comma and save it so if i go to my webpack dev.config.js go below and we'll comment this webpack plugin Okay, otherwise it will give us error now and uh, go to save it first and go to your production and comment this. Okay, and save it. So I'm going to provide you this webpack configuration files inside description section. These three files, paste, dev and prod. The remaining things will remain same and if you're getting any error then you can go in the description section and you can download these three files from there okay if you see inside our production dot config file we have set up our service worker so every time when we start our project it will search for our service worker so our entry point to this application is index.js which is located inside our source this okay so at this entry point this webpack configuration will search the service worker so we'll also edit our service worker details in here okay so that it will find at the entry of our application okay so go below we'll write here a couple of lines if process dot environment dot node environment just like we set in package.json it should be started with the production booth with node environment so set it in here and set it with production and write another condition with service worker and in navigator okay then sorry window dot 
add event listener load and pass here the arrow function and navigator dot service worker and dot register which register service worker from here okay that sw dot js just like we said in our production sw dot js okay and then registration pass another argument okay and then pass inside the arrow function if the service worker has been registered then give us sw registered and give us registration okay and then in here dot catch if any error occurs registration error and write console dot log sw registration failed okay and give us registration error okay now it's fine so till now we have written our code for our service worker registration so with backpack the service worker registration becomes very easy okay so save it and open your terminal and go to your project folder and then type npm run dev server now we are running a dev server so npm start will not work here enter so our browser has been opened okay i think our h2 tag is not showing here if we go in here then it is giving us an error that the quant is all dot service worker so you need to understand that our webpack we are working with the webpack and the webpack is a good dependency manager if you go in index.js so we should comment this and comment this okay because in webpack configuration we wrote our configuration for service worker and we don't need to go for our default service worker settings so save it go back and now this is our e-commerce project is here our errors are gone so you don't need to worry about our webpack configuration files all of the files has been given for you inside the description section just go and download there and edit your package.json scripts just like this okay and go to your index.js and write this service worker registration so service worker are working on this test file if we go in browser and if we go inside our source then you can see that our sources are the index.html that it is created inside the test folder and this main.js that it is using. Okay, this is our code. It is minified our code inside the one file and this is good for efficiency of our project. So this is all from this video. See you in the next video.